I don't think people think of Barry Diller as kind of a hallowed platform investor, which is, I think they probably should be thinking about him that way. Just yesterday, it was announced that the peer-to-peer car sharing marketplace Turo raised $250 million at over a $1 billion valuation. That makes them one of these uh, hallowed uh, unicorn companies. Turo is a platform. They're a marketplace that lets you rent um uh, cars from people that own cars. Think of it as like Airbnb for car sharing. So now the interesting thing with Turo is that um, the the person, the company that led this round in them, which is IAC. And if you don't know who or what IAC is, um, they're basically a conglomerate founded and run by a guy named Barry Diller. I think I would qualify Barry Diller as kind of like an OG platform guru. He's definitely probably the oldest, most successful platform investor and owner out there. I'm I'm willing to, to make that statement. What else does Barry Diller do with platforms? Well, you may have heard of a company called Expedia. And in Expedia's 10K, there's interesting language in here. So by virtue of the voting power, Uh, of an irrevocable proxy granted to Mr. Diller. Basically, what they're saying is that Barry Diller controls the whole company. (laughs) And and that could be a risk, or I guess that could be a pro or an asset. But basically, um, if Barry Diller doesn't want something to happen at Expedia, then it's not going to happen. And obviously, Dara, who's now the CEO of Uber, has a has a very close relationship with Barry. Dara's still on the board of Expedia and has really amazing things to say about Barry Diller. Um, but I don't think people think of Barry Diller as kind of a hallowed platform investor, which is, I think they probably should be thinking about him that way. So Expedia, not a small company. Expedia is in plat. Expedia over the past few years has been transitioning more of their business model to be more of a marketplace. The thing that Expedia originally got big on was they called this the uh, Expedia name your price option, where you'd name a price and they'd match you with hotel inventory. That was basically them reselling blocks of hotel inventory at the price they chose that they'd paid for up front. And they've been moving away from that partly because booking, which had surpassed them for a while, was wildly successful with this marketplace agency model. Uh, and they were moving in that direction as that had taken off. Expedia is a great story. What's another th- platform model that uh, IAC owns? You'll see here they have this thing called Angie Home Services, Inc. Angie, uh, also in Plat is one of, if not, you know, the dominant marketplace for home services. In 2017, uh, Home Advisor and Angie's List kind of merged together, made an acquisition, became a public company. And then recently, Handy was acquired by Angie's List, uh, which is kind of like the marketplace 2.0 version for home services. Uh, so I would describe an Angie's List, a home advisor as 1.0 in the sense that it's kind of more of a referral engine. Um, you're not necessarily mandating that every customer is completing that core transaction with a producer on the platform and all the money is being controlled and flowing through the platform. There's definitely much more of a referral model it's in a, these it's marketplaces. It's a lead gen model where they connect you to the supplier and then the transaction happens offline rather than through the platform. Exactly. Um, so with this acquisition of Handy, this was uh, fall of last year. Now, what Barry has basically done, he's done a roll up. He's pretty good at these. If we look at Match and, and they actually incubated Tinder, but but they've now started to corner the market of home services um, and be a very viable, if not probably more dominant competitor than say an Amazon Home Services and other players that are trying to get into this space. So look, I I you know my hats off to Barry. I think there's a lot. A lot deeper that I'd like to go into some of the things that IAC is doing. Um, but this was very interesting that now they're getting into Turo. Now they're getting into the automotive space. Now they're getting into kind of the Airbnb of um, car rentals, which um, I think is a great space for them to be in. And there's a lot of opportunity there.